everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to share with you guys my weekend routine. Now I don't have an alarm on the weekend so I get to wake up when there's actual daylight which is quite nice and I usually sleep in until around 10 and once I get up I then get dressed because otherwise I will fall right back into my bed. Once I'm back in my room I then go and make my bed because let's face it I'm still tempted to just go and lie back into it and we don't want to waste away the entire day. And then I take my vitamin D pills because I have a little vitamin D deficiency and during quarantine it's especially important to get your vitamin D dose. And yeah, then it's time to do my makeup. I do my makeup even on the weekend when nobody sees me because I really enjoy the process of putting on makeup and yeah, it's just kind of fun to me. I'm honestly not in a hurry on the weekends and I don't stress myself so it is usually around 11 by the time I get to the kitchen and make myself some breakfast. But yeah, I just take my time and I really enjoy the process of making myself breakfast because it was something I never really got to do while at university because on the weekends, I was just stressing about getting all my readings done for the next week. So just having this time off now during the summer and getting to make myself a healthy breakfast is quite nice. Once I finish my breakfast, I go back to my room and then it is time to pick up my tasks for the weekend. So the way I do this is I have a to-do list which I just keep on a little piece of paper. I don't write down a lot of to-dos for the weekend because it's the weekend. But I pick out a few for my things free to-do list. So Things Free is an amazing app for to-dos and I would highly recommend it to anybody who is trying to get on top of their tasks because you have lists for everything. You can make as many lists as you want. So for example, I have lists for my blog, for my work, for university, for everything. And the great thing is you can add deadlines to it and then it will automatically put them in your to-day list whenever they're due. And yeah, it's just an amazing app for organizing all of your to-dos, especially because it also has headings. And this is something I have rarely seen in to-do apps for some reason, but headings are super, super useful. So yeah, in conclusion, I would highly recommend the app. And basically what I do is I just go over my list in Things Free and I pick out a few to-dos that I want to get done over the weekend. So here's my list for this weekend. And the first thing that I had to do was emails because yeah, emails, they just keep coming in. So I just went through my emails, wrote a few replies, wrote a few emails myself that I still had to write and I managed to get my emails down to zero which is a big success for me. Now that my emails were done it was time to move on to the next to do which was making a thumbnail. So I already edited the video for Sunday because I always post on Sunday so I just needed to do the thumbnail which is the picture you see when you click on a video. And yeah, basically I just edited the picture and then just added a bit of text so that people can see what the video is about and that was pretty much it. And yeah, here's another to-do complete. As you can see, these are not really big tasks because I try to keep my weekend pretty chill because, well, it is the weekend after all. So the next task was a YouTube channel project. This is a project where I'm helping someone else make a channel. It's really, really fun. Um, they just wanted some help, you know, with things like designing a cover photo for the channel and stuff like that, which is pretty easy once you've been on YouTube for a while, but when you're new to it, it's all a little bit much. But yeah, we got all of that done and I just feel like I've really gotten some work done whenever I do some work for this project, which is really nice. And I usually get some snacks throughout the day. I don't really eat lunch because, well, I had breakfast literally at 11.30, so yeah. Next up was writing a blog post because I post pretty much all of my content on Sundays, so I usually get it all done on Saturdays. So I edited a picture for that and then I just wrote the post. I usually get snacks in between writing the posts and yeah, pretty much all of my to-dos because as I said, I don't really have lunch. Um, but yeah, once the post was done, I could just then put it up on my website and this is what it looks like on my blog. I usually add some stuff whenever, you know, it makes sense. So here, for example, I added two of my videos, um, but largely it's just me writing down my thoughts. And since I take my merry time with pretty much everything on the weekend and I also snack a lot in between, it was then already late afternoon, which made it the perfect time for some self-care because the weekend is the time where that really should be a priority. So it was time for me to wash my hair and put in a little hair mask and that's where we get to the sponsor of today's video which is Function of Beauty. Function of Beauty makes hair products and their hair products are super customizable. You even get a bottle with whatever name you want them to put on it. So for me it's Function of Elena. You get to pick the colors and everything. And the cool thing is they have no parabens, sulfates, GMOs or toxins and they're 100% vegan and cruelty free. You can set whatever goals you want with the product. So for example, I wanted some more volume and I also wanted my hair to be hydrated. And then you can pick your color. You can customize pretty much everything about this. And personally, I think it works quite well. For me, it was really important to get the ends of my hair a little bit more hydrated. And I think it really did the job. They sent me a shampoo, a conditioner and a hair mask. And honestly, the products are amazing. You can also get them as a subscription service. So you don't have to think about buying your shampoo and conditioner at the right times. And you can completely customize them, including the sent under their website and they also send you some really cute stickers which is just a little bonus I wanted to mention 
and you guys can get 20% off with the link in the description box below. But now let's get back to the video. So here's me after washing my hair and putting in a little hair mask from Function of Beauty. And yes, I'm also wearing a face mask because self-care. And then it was time for the next to-do, which is my newsletter. I send out my newsletter every Sunday. You can sign up for it under the link in the description box below. But basically, it's just a lot of my thoughts and some reading recommendations, some things I enjoyed over the week. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So basically, I just write that every Saturday so that it's already done, so that I can send it out on Sunday. And as you can see here, it's pretty much just a lot of things that I thought were pretty cool and that I hope that the people who get the newsletter enjoy. So things like a quote that I liked, music, I know my music taste is horrible, but I will defend it anyway. And yeah, stuff like that. And then I just schedule it. The great thing is about MailChimp, you can schedule it super easily so that you don't have to remember sending it out on the day. And then it was time for dinner. Here's my mom, she cooked for us. It was really, really good. And yeah, then it was time to take off my face mask because I left it on for quite a while. And I thought now would just be a good time to remind you guys that yeah, we all have flaws. And I recently had my skin break out a little and it's absolutely okay. So here's just me going over my evening routine. And I thought now would just be a good time to just, you know, tell you guys in case no one told you today, you are beautiful. Regardless of what flaws you have and regardless of the state of your skin, because let's face it, that is not what makes you pretty. And yeah, then it was time for me to get into bed. And on weekends, I allow myself to watch The Blacklist in bed because I really enjoy that TV show and I just fall asleep to that. And I thought on the next day I would save you guys my morning routine again because it's pretty much the same. So instead, I just chose to show you guys the book that I'm currently reading, which is The Righteous Mind by Jonathan Hyde. I just started it at that point, but I have finished it by now. And I can tell you that book is amazing. It is such a great insight into why politics and religion are such controversial topics for us as humans. Would highly recommend it. I'm going to put a link in the description box below if you're interested. And yeah, then it was time to get back to my planner and my to-do list for the weekend after spending my entire morning just reading. And then it was time for a to-do which I have had on like my things for a to-do list for ages. And it's not a big task, but you know these little tasks where you just, you know, keep pushing them away. Basically all I had to do was edit the about section of my two websites because they have been there for a very long time and they needed some updating. In total the whole thing probably took me about 10 minutes for both of the websites but you know when you have these little tasks which you just keep pushing away then they just seem really big but yeah just a little reminder they're not as big as you think. And that concludes that to do and then we only had one left which was starting my research for my political commentary channel. So on that channel I make videos well about politics. And I'm currently researching defunding the police and yeah, what I do is I make a mind map whenever I start researching a new topic with questions but also issues that I think might arise and that's pretty much the starting point for my research and I amend that as I go along with my research since I then find new questions and probably also a new subtopic. So an example here is for example the starting point for me would be meaning of defunding the police since there is disagreement about that and you know to what extent is there a spectrum and what is the spectrum of interpretations of the term stuff like that. So I just write down all of my questions on the topic and then I start doing my research. I usually start by reading a few articles. Usually I start out with the New York Times because I think their articles are very well researched and then I also move over to Vox because I really enjoy their content and I think they have great summaries. So I write them in my notes app and so far I've read two articles and I always use direct quotations mostly. And then I just write down some questions that I have about some of the statements that the author has made or things that I want to look in a little more, for example, if they mention certain research papers, etc. Now, most of the topics that I research never make it past my research stage because I just don't feel like I can make a video on it because often I research it and I feel like, okay, I have a pretty good understanding of it, but not enough to actually condense it so much that I can turn it into a short video that, you know, helps people understand the topic. So yeah. But anyways, I think just the process of me doing research is something that has really helped me and kept me more politically informed, which is something I like about having a political commentary channel. So yeah, it makes my channel a little less active because I only post when I really feel like I know enough, but I think that also makes it kind of good. And yeah, I'll probably just read a few more articles and then I'll probably go back to my book and just enjoy the rest of my Sunday. And yeah, thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for being here. Have a nice day. Bye.